What's up, what's up, what's up? It's BitConnect going to $100 in 2018. <laughs> Watch this video to find out. Right, guys, it's CryptoRocker here, and today I'm going to talk about what's wrong with the cryptocurrency community and some of the problems and the fixes. One thing I've noticed is, guys, people in, in the cryptocurrency markets do not talk about both sides of the stories. If you're, like, for example, is a Verge fan, you do not want to hear anything negative about Verge. You do not, people are not, I mean, not everyone, guys, some some people some people are very good do they do their own research look at the risks and reward ratios and invest money that they can lose and they invest properly but some people are literally listening to 16 year olds on youtube and investing their life savings like bitconnect like what happened with crypto uh, crypto nick so i'm not saying i'm an expert listen to me don't listen to me just listen to my advice use the information from our youtube channel or other youtube channels and make up your own mind before i get into this video guys I'd just like to say if you enjoy my content, if you enjoy my videos, guys, please subscribe to my channel. I do videos on price predictions, ICOs, technical analysis, and the whole lot. So if you guys want the best cryptocurrency news, subscribe to my channel. And a massive thank you to all my subscribers. I've only done youtube videos for a bit and i've already got over 800 subscribers and once i hit my 1000 subscribers guys i will be doing a litecoin giveaway so if you want to win some litecoins guys leave your litecoins below in the comments below and i will be doing a litecoin video very very uh, once i reach my thousand subscribers right let's get into this video guys so the the main reason i wanted to do this is this this um this post on 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 the tron subreddit and um, reddit is very good for cryptocurrency if you watch my videos i always talk about using reddit so on reddit this guy talked about that you know he's gonna get downvoted because he's talking about what people don't like talking about which is talking about anything else apart from Tron going to the moon. I actually like Tron. I've started to like them a bit more, but Tron is a hype coin and people do not like it. If I post about Tron in any other cryptocurrency groups or Facebook groups or on Twitter, people will hate on me and say that I'm shilling this coin. Shilling is, you know, pumping up a coin that you own. So, which is which is not great, guys. We need to talk about Tron. So, this guy is saying that there are rumours with Tron being um, um, copied the white paper uh, Justin Sun's tweet is not professional and the live stream could have been better and he is true but you know Tron is doing a few things correct and I'm looking forward to their mainnet launch if they deliver guys it could be great I'm not saying they will but if they can deliver it could be big news for the cryptocurrency market so I'm still I'm not going all in on Tron it's not my bullish coin that I'm um, going most bullish on but it is a coin that we could look for in the future so what I'm saying is guys if you like Tron listen to the hate messages listen to what people are concerned about it might change your mind if you don't like Tron listen to why people like Tron if people are saying he's going to the moon Lambos then you should be a bit hesitant you need to look at the technology you need to look at the market what problem is it trying to solve what is the value proposition so this guy is this guy is trying to have a bit more discussion which is what i want to have but it's very difficult to have discussions in this cryptocurrency market because people are a believer or they're not people do not want to have technical uh, good discussions and that is affecting the market affecting cryptocurrency going forward we need to be talking about the technologies we are the pioneers of this cryptocurrency uh, technology blockchain revolution because we're still at an early stage we are the early adopters we need to move this market forward and yes speculation brings money into this market which helps techno technological development but we could be a lot more logical with it and we could <laughs> avoid situations like bitconnect so this guy talks about that you know not it's not everyone's cup of tea he likes jack jack ma so he, he does it this way and and yes people people are humans we only make mistakes and i want to show this article because yes cryptocurrency is still new so we are going to make mistakes so we need to cut ourselves some slack but but try to smell what's wrong if something smells wrong looks wrong it probably is wrong there's no you know smoke without fire so if people are saying something's wrong with it do your own research but still give it some slack i'm sure ethereum had a lot of uh, massive issues during icos and i actually didn't invest in ethereum because i was like oh that sounds a bit shady i don't i don't know if this will deliver but look at what ethereum's done so you know tron could do it verge could do it but i'm not saying they will i've still got concerns with them these are not the coins that i'm most bullish on with tron i'm starting to like it a bit more i've had some communication with some of the key people of tron on twitter 
and and Facebook with someone, and those discussions made me think. And and Verge, this guy talks about you know in the Verge community, if you put about Verge going to the moon, people love you. People's like, yeah, we're gonna buy Lambos, we're gonna leave our jobs. But if you talk about Verge on any other cryptocurrency groups or Facebook or Twitter you'll get hated and I posted on Verge so I've made a video on Verge and I posted that Verge video on another community and it got it got downvoted and I talked about Verge in a negative sense and I got banned from the Verge community so the video that I released is Verge a scam and I'm not saying it's a scam but the way they did the crowd fund partnership was very wrong they said they were going to do it here and then they said they're going to release the information another date and they moved it back again i don't i don't understand why they need a massive money from the community to get a partnership if someone likes your company wants to partner with you they'll partner with you you shouldn't need to raise money that's just my thoughts and i said look is it an exit scam? Could it be a scam? Should you be careful? Again, this is slightly clickbaity title and apologies for my clickbaity titles because if I don't do clickbaity titles, guys, I do not get people don't get views. And, and the main reason I got into doing videos is because I saw 15, 16 year olds talking rubbish on, on cryptocurrency and getting thousands of views and not knowing anything about cryptocurrency. I'm not an expert, but I, f I feel like I know, I, I know way more than most people and people um that some of the guys like crypto nick i don't want to you know bad name cryptocurrency or youtubers because there's a lot of good people as well but that's the main reason i got into it to give you guys the true information and share my knowledge i'm having a discussion i'm not saying i'm right but i want to have logical discussion about bitcoin cryptocurrency blockchain price predictions and i've traded before stocks and forex i really enjoy trading cryptocurrency as well so yes, the main reason I'm saying is look at both sides of the stories, guys. Do not just say, oh, it's, it's, it's scam, hodl, it's fud. Don't use those as defense mechanism. Have good discussions and make up your own mind. Again, John McAfee getting over 100 grand for promotional tweets. That That is wrong. That is what's the problem with the community. We shouldn't need that, guys. Um, we need to have actual use actual use cases we need to be developing the technology and investing in good projects and help those help those good projects another coin bitcoin cash again <laughs> i try to be neutral and non-judgmental but bitcoin cash is something that i do not like at all i don't see their value proposition if someone can explain to me bitcoin cash what's their value proposition i'm open to it leave your comments below i'm happy i'm happy to have that discussion with you but i just don't see that I don't see their value proposition and they keep going on about they're the real Bitcoin Cash. If you are a good project like Litecoin, Dash, Monero, they talk about um, their own technology. They want to develop their own technology, develop adoption. So if Bitcoin Cash, if you're the real Bitcoin or you claim to be, show what you're good at. What's your unique value proposition? What, what are you trying to solve? Create adoption. Do not just go off the name of bitcoin so i mean I, i'm not saying it's, i don't know if it's a scam or not it's a coin that i, I dislike and i'm not going to invest in bitcoin cash and there's hundreds of thousands of, of uh, comments and posts like this this guy saying it's a superior alternative to bitcoin but what is it like it, it's just you know this you're just saying it's tro it's a troll and, and people are sharing fud but you're not saying anything um of facts or any anything of value you're just saying that oh it's, it's not correct the ripple is another one people just hate ripple they do not want to talk about Ripple. I've spoken to a few guys on Twitter that know a lot about Ripple, and there are things that I like. This could be a middle ground. People could diversify. I did a video on Ripple, um, Ripple to ten. I'm not saying Ripple will go to ten dollars. I don't think it will. Uh, there's a chance it might go to five, six dollars if they, you know, keep doing adoptions and the whole cryptocurrency markets recover. But I talked about, you know, Ripple is different to most cryptocurrencies, and with legislations coming, Ripple could be a very good way to diversify. So invest some money in Ripple, or don't have all your money in privacy coins or this this coin. Diversify slightly so you can. You can, um, you know, if one of your coins don't deliver, it's a simple trading investment advice. <laughs> hey, I don't need to talk about BitConnect again, guys. That guy, uh, what's up, what's up, what's up, guy? Uh, he kind of, you know, scams so many people, guys. It went up from 400 to to zero, and it went up 8%, <laughs> which is crazy. I don't know how it can still go up. But yeah, just watch out for it, guys. There's still stuff going on. ICO scam people are still falling for it. There's more. I think there was another lending platform similar to BitConnect that failed recently. And it's just still happening. And people are not 
listening to both sides of the stories for verge guys for listen to both sides of the stories listen to what people are concerned about this is just a, this video is not planned it's just an honest opinion and i'm thinking out loud i'd love to hear your thoughts don't hate and dislike this video i'd like to have a discussion why do you not like this video or do you think my thinking is wrong do you want to suggest something different i'm happy to have those discussions guys so again this video guys it got so many dislikes and so many hate messages because i shared my thoughts that you know verge might not be correct to be honest guys there's few people that supported me which was good so it's nice to see that there's people still thinking both sides of the stories and a few people said that you know it could be wrong so i've taken some money out i've still got some money in but i'm concerned about it so i've taken some money out so that's the type of thinking that i'd, I'd like going forward but yeah i got so many hate messages but the support messages and the subscribers helped me to keep going um who well, I've got another subscriber so yes and, and and that's what i'm saying just i'm not asking you guys to um, listen to me or anyone else just use this information use do your own research and make up your own mind and um, oh this is a this is a coin that i was been looking at to trade here recently it's, it's, it's following a good pattern so that's why i have this tab open this is a, this is actually a good project as well i'm not shilling it by the way i'm not saying go invest in this coin and um, this is just a coin that i'm looking to trade and um, so I'm just going to go through two articles that are very good. So I've I've actually released this picture on my Twitter and Instagram. When to buy and sell, there's a massive queue, but no one wants to learn about Bitcoin and blockchain. It talks about speculators and what's wrong with the crypto cryptocurrency community. Um, one thing it says is, one, one thing I'm saying is, still give cryptocurrency market cut them some slack because it's very new we are going to make mistakes we are all part of this new technology this new revolution we are going to make mistakes but let us grow and see what we can do guys that's all i'm saying so get, cut us some slack if we miss deadlines then you know don't say it's a scam straight away give it some time but also use your own judgment like what verge is doing i think is unprofessional um so speculators are are good in some sense because speculation uh, brings money into this in, in this market which help drive technology which pays the developers to develop and solve real world issues so in a way speculators are good but we need to move from just speculating to fans and users and move this technology forward and um, i'll finish off with this article this talks about six problems fake news is everywhere guys <laughs> fake news is everywhere on twitter uh, on reddit on on facebook i'm on twitter and, and the amount of fake news i see is, is crazy people uh, massive massive influencers pump invest in a coin beforehand and then pump it on their twitter and or youtube and then sell it and take essentially you know losing their subscribers money and pump and dumps guys there's <laughs> it's quite easy to manipulate the market then youtubers get paid hundreds and thousands of pounds or dollars to um to show up sell a coin to tell to do a video on a coin and they obviously get paid in that currency and they can sell it in an exchange price manipulation I don't really know how to stop it guys it even happens in stock market and cryptocurrency with almost no regulations it's very easy to for crypto whales to to um, manipulate the market which I'm not happy about but it, it happens forex and binary again guys people that don't know about investing they watch a video on on you know get rich quick lifestyle um with advertisement on google and facebook like etoro i know people that <laughs> buy on etoro and think that they own bitcoin because they've invested in toro you're only exchanging it you know you're using kind of you're, you're trading it you're binary and, and margins you're not actually owning that bitcoin so Yes, it's in people just lose money and they think, oh, Toro is regulated, I could trade it. So I think, you know, what they're doing is not correct. People need to go through, need to ha have to do a course to be allowed to trade, I think. But again, we, we're probably not there yet. But people just not using their mind, listening to someone and just investing money. Scams and Ponzi schemes, there's thousands of them out there. And, and finally, HODL. I mean, if you watch my videos, I say HODL is a good strategy for 80 to 90 percent people out there because if you try to trade you lose money you need to invest in projects that you like and kind of hold but there are negatives to hold as well this guy talks about something else um that if you're if all the money's and out of in 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 wallets and not in the market then it's easier for people to kind of manipulate it um because the volume would be lower 
but again I still think Huddle's good so I'm not exactly agreeing with this guy again make up your own mind you could agree with what this guy have said um, but I think Huddle's a good strategy because if you don't know how to trade I've got trading experience in Forex in stocks so I know what I'm again I'm not saying I'm an expert I win all my trades but I do sh share some of my trading signals on Twitter and, and then on my Instagram and sometimes they work so that's all I'm saying guys I'm not saying I'm an expert but I seem to I've, I've got experience and I'm fairly confident that I know probably more than some other people out there so yes guys that was my video guys what are your thoughts do you think we need to improve as a community if you do agree with me or if you don't agree with me what do you th what do you think are the problems with the cryptocurrency markets that needs to be solved and um, do you think the, what can the community do share your thoughts guys share it to reach out to me on twitter on instagram leave your comments below i'd love to see your uh, see your comments and answer all your questions i read all the comments myself and then have a discussion around it see if we can solve something we are the early adopters so it's for it's up to us uh, we're still early i know cryptocurrency has been crazy and a lot of people know about bitcoin now but i still think we're in the early stages of the of the, of the development so yes guys leave your comments below smash that like button guys if you enjoy this kind of video just open conversations open discussions please subscribe to my channel smash uh, smash that like button share it with your friends and family share it on reddit on twitter and let's have a discussion around it. I, I've, I've i've worked i've worked hard to bring good content to you guys so yeah, i'd really appreciate if you like subscribe to my channel and i'm doing a Litecoin giveaway guys when i reach my um thousand subscribers guys because it's, it's great that i've re almost, I'm almost reaching thousand subscribers within weeks of starting this youtube channel so thank you very much really appreciate it and i want to give away some Litecoin as a thank you to my subscribers i don't make any money from youtubes um but i'd i'd, I'd really i really appreciate guys I appreciate your guys' help, so I'd like to give some Litecoin away. So leave your Litecoin addresses below, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, share with your friends and family, and I'll see you guys soon with another great video. Thank you very much.